About four months ago, I started work on fully remaking the game Fable using Unreal Engine 5, and over the last month, I've started working on the systems that would be in the game as well as giving the game its first major facelift. Keep in mind that there is still a lot wrong with the lighting and post-processing that I need to refine, such as the saturation being too high or the lighting that is too sharp and bright, but we'll get to those soon enough. As a reminder, I have a few main goals for this project that are higher priority than anything else. These goals are making just an MVP that goes through the first portion of the game, which is through the Wasp Queen quest, remove all load zones to make all regions connect seamlessly, and remake all the systems in the game, including property management, shops, dialogue, quest systems, day-night cycle, basic alignment system, and combat. Now on to my updates this past month. I really wanted to start getting into the programming of UE5, so I started by making a basic currency system. This is a good place to start because it basically just consists of keeping track of the currency industry that the user has, creating functions to add or remove money from that amount, and display that info to the user. Doing a smaller system like this first allowed me to remember how scripting works with the Unreal Engine. I also created a basic pickup object for collecting money so that I could verify the currency system works. So I made a pickup blueprint, gave them a gold bad mash, put it on the ground, and hooked them up to give the user money. This worked great, so I then made a widget for the UI to show the amount of gold the user currently has. When I did this, I actually exported every single UI icon from Fable so I wouldn't have to try to figure out which ones I need later. I also added an animation that plays when money is added or reduced. And this is the, my first time ever working with UI and Unreal. And there are some weird things with it that make it overcomplicated, but in the end I figured it out and got it all hooked up. At this point I wanted to see if I could find a workaround for getting animations into the project for skeletal meshes, as there's a bug in Unreal Engine 5.0.3 that prevents importing animations with a float value on the sample rate. I tested this with the Wasp Queen, as she doesn't have a ton of animations for me to export from Fable. After a bit of working with UE4, I was able to get them into that engine and then move them on automatically to Unreal Engine 5. That actually worked pretty well, so I finally had a way to get them in, even though it is a little convoluted. From here, I wanted to work on one of the systems that directly correlates with the currency system, so I worked on property management. It is worth noting that I have a lot of really cool ideas for the property management system, such as making the upgrade system more like people 2 and allowing the user to upgrade the yard of their home, or even just upgrading city objects as a whole if you own every property in a region. These ideas came from a discussion that Fable Modder and content creator Avarice and I had when talking about the project. Uh, for this feature right now though, I literally just created the exact system that was in Fable, so it was pretty quick to make. To do this, I created a base blueprint for interacting with objects and made a child blueprint specifically for the property management signs. I then created a way to interact with the objects that you're close to. All this works well, but I will update the actual visual of the outline later. Once this worked, I made a pop-up UI for objects to use and create a system for attaching different action to buttons on the menu. Oh, also at this point I added Xbox controller support, which wasn't too difficult since I'm doing it so early. Now the building checks if it can be managed, if you own it, if it is a shop, and if it can be upgraded. I then added a way for me to add upgrade objects to the property. Now I needed rent to generate every day at sunrise, so it was time to move on to the day-night system. For this feature, I decided to use an asset on the Unreal Store, so I used this pack here for the day-night system. This is a pretty cool system that is really high quality, so I knew this would help me with improving the visual fidelity of the project. I implemented the plugin and set up the skylights for both daytime and nighttime. I think this oversized moon does really good work for the Fable look. This pack also includes weather, which works well, uh, but it actually has some material functions that allow objects to look wet or build snow on top of them when it snows. Uh, this is cool, but it seems I have to manually set these up. Uh, that could take up a bit of time if I decide to do that, but I could save time by only doing materials for regions that would have that kind of weather. Uh, I'm also researching to see if there's a way I can get this to be more automatic to set up, uh, even if I have to make an editor script to make it work easily. Uh, finally with this, I set up the rent to generate in front of buildings at sunrise every day, uh, which I may change to either generate at a specific building on the map or automatically deposit into your currency. At this point, I was ready to move on to updating the fidelity of the environment a bit, and when I started this task, I planned on only replacing the trees in a single region. I did this and decided I also wanted to change the rocks, as the rock models and textures from the 2014 remaster have not aged well at all. So I replaced the rocks with more modern models, uh, and then I moved on to using actual foliage system for replacing plants and grass. Uh, I did all this in Bowerstone South only right now, 
uh, but I will do more regions once the regions are separated into different levels, which is a task that is in my backlog. The next thing I wanted to look into that is a possible blocker is audio. Extracting audio from Fable was a huge headache with several technical challenges. Since Fable Anniversary used WISE for audio, I used the software WISE Extractor to get the audio files from Fable, but there was a major issue. The files were renamed and numbered with the same leading name. This means that there is no way for me to know which dialogue line is which out of the 13,000 dialogue lines. This isn't a blocker, but without finding a better solution to this, I estimate it would take about 10 hours just to find dialogue lines I would need for the MVP of the first hour of Fable in hundreds of hours for the full game. I need to find a better solution for this at some point. I did import the plugin wise into the project to learn how to use it well since the plugin is crazy popular and valuable to understand. For a quick setup for now though, I just added in the Bowerstone music into the background to at least have some ambience this month. It is really important to make builds of your project early on and often so you can mitigate any issues that you may come across. So I attempted to make my first cooked build and had several errors, most of which were related to the program wise. I don't know exactly what was going on, so I deleted all wise blueprints from the project which fixed the build issues. As I was writing this script though, I realized that the issue with WISE is probably due to my source control. I say this because every time I start the project up, it asks if I want to set up the plugin. So my guess is it cannot write to the correct files unless I check them out of Perforce. So I'll try that out next week and see if that fixes the issues. Regardless, I had a working build that had already taught me a lot of how the engine works. For instance, when you start the exe file, it opens quickly and all of the assets have very low resolution textures for about 20 seconds. And also the frame rate is really rough for about 20 seconds as well. This means that the level is not fully loaded when you boot the executable file up. Uh, so this is really good info to have actually. So I'll be adding a Fable menu soon to work with this. Uh, also worth noting that the load will be faster when I remove the unnecessary regions from the map depending on your location, as well as using some asynchronous loading tricks, which just loads the level while doing other stuff. With all of that done this month, what do I have planned for next month exactly? Keep in mind that while I do have tasks that I may or want to work on now, I may push them back a tiny bit to work on tasks that either really excite me or help me chill or all of a sudden become very important. First, I think I need to fix the wise issues so I can remove errors from the build and get audio implemented correctly going forward. I will continue to look at a solution for the dialogue file naming issues as well, but I don't expect to find an answer for that soon yet. Next, I'll be exporting the main character animations and getting them into the project. There are 785 animations for the main character alone, and I want to go ahead and grab them all now, even if I'm not going to be setting them up quite yet. Then I can get the player character model changed from the Unreal Engine mannequin to the actual hero of Oakvale. At this point, I'll start doing either an inventory system, setting up shops, or dialogue and quest system. I'm not sure which I want to do yet, or which one is more important. I don't think it really matters though. Uh, also, I will be adding the dynamic objects to each region that have animations, so beds are one example, as well as banners that sway in the wind. Finally, I will look into separating each region into individual levels. This may have several challenges if I wait too long to do this task, so I want to knock it out as early as I can. This will be a huge optimization lift, as well as give the ability to have foliage in more regions than just Bowerstone South. There are still so many features to add to this project that I am excited to get to. I think combat will be really fun when I finally tackle that in a couple more months. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all take care now.